Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomat YouTube channel. You got your boys here, Lanny and Bert, the Dividend Diplomat. This is going to be a huge video today. We have a dividend paying stock that pays you dividends every single month. The yield is 4% on this monthly dividend paying company. Oh, and guess what, Lanny? It gets even better because this stock is actually down year to date. So everyone, we're going to jump in. We're going to learn more about this company and see why this may be a stock to buy right now. You guys know the drill. Subscribe, mm -hmm. like, get to 20,000. That's the goal. That's the journey. The year ends approaching. We're less than 200 away. Just bring it, guys. So we're here talking about a monthly dividend paying stock, a dividend stock that's been growing dividends for over 10 years. We are in an industry that's actually up this year mm -hmm. because rates are coming down. Fed rate cut, you know, last month, more than likely one more rate cut, maybe before the end of the year. This industry should continue to soar. Is right now the time to buy this stock while the stock mm -hmm. is still down? Let's see. We're going to be growing our passive income today. Who are we talking about? Yeah. <sighs> Industrial ticker symbol S T A G. Well, you guys are here, and that was what a year ago, Lanny, when we did a video about stag, and we just kept saying stag. It's probably, it's probably a couple of years ago, I feel Maybe. like at this point, yeah, but still, the stag, stag. lives on in our hearts. Just stay with us, it just feels good off the tongue. Stag. Stag. That's right. So, this company has a market cap of 6.8 billion. So who oh, is it's true? It's damn and, true. And who is Stag? What do they do? Industrial REIT. They rent warehouses, a lot of the big distribution centers. They have manufacturing centers. They're not the prettiest buildings. They're large, massive buildings that are off the highway. But man, are they a big and growing company? That's what I found so fascinating when we started talking about Stag. How many properties do they have, Lanny? How big is this REIT? Well, they're in 41 states with 573 different properties. You know, they keep technically, you know, like every REIT, try to get those long-term REITs. And, you know, again, they've got, um, you know, industrial has been like the hot area right now, you know. So being an industrial REIT, I'm very surprised that they're actually down year to date because they've actually had solid earnings yeah. um, since this last quarter. Their funds from operations, a.k.a kind of the correlated term there is like their EPS for a normal non-REIT company. Um, top the 59 cents average, they had 61 cents and they actually increased by two cents from the first quarter and 56 cents from a year before. So this tag is actually doing very well when it comes to the REITs. Yeah, and it wasn't just the FFO that was performing well for stag. It was the revenue too. Revenue at 189 million topped expectations. Um, oh, and it grew from last year too. Same store cash NOI grew. Boom. Occupancy still strong above 97%. So 97% of the square footage that Stag owned mm -hmm. is occupied, which is huge oh, yeah. in the read space. That's something that every single analyst, every single investor should keep an eye on when they're checking out the reads. 103,000 square foot leased out right now with. 103 million square footage yeah. um, leased out under the stag umbrella guy. But the you know stock I realize with that too, Lanny, What's I didn't that? realize how much they've grown too. The crazy thing about that square footage and how oh, fast huge. this reads growing. I mean, you said it was 103 million in 2023. In 2011, it was 1.8 million. So it's exponentially growing up. 2022 was 89.7 million, 77 million the year before. So they were growing and they're growing. Acquisition target. Yeah, I mean, for someone that's looking to get into the diversified industrial space, that's huge. Market cap of six point eight billion isn't that much for someone to come and swoop them up. No, I'll just finance the deal, guys, because this stock price is down. Like I was just getting into, down six percent this year, trading at thirty seven dollars twenty three cents. We're gonna run through the dividend diplomat stock screener. We're gonna focus on the adjusted funds from operations um, ratio, the adjusted funds from operation payout ratio. Um, we're going to look at the dividend yield, the dividend growth. You know it. This is what we do. Time to see if this is a REIT to buy now to get that monthly income before the stock price pops, Bert. Yeah. So their price, 
37.23. Their FFO is two dollars and forty cents. It's a price to FF ratio of fifteen point five two. Mm -hmm. So it's an it's not the cheapest of your REITs. Um, there are a lot of REITs that we've looked at in the past that are in the low teens, like the 10 to 12 range. And this is not one of them. This one is a fairly priced REIT, although it is still undervalued compared to the market. Fairly priced REIT, guys. They pay a dollar 48 cents per year, guys. Again, that is divide that by 12 and you'll get your monthly dividend per share. Dividend payout ratio is so darn safe for a REIT at 62%. Plenty of room to grow the dividend plenty of room to pay the dividend. That's well, right. And the interesting thing with that, Lanny, though, mm -hmm. they don't grow the dividend. Oh, man. And that's why their payout ratio is so low for the rest space. Their five-year dividend growth rate is 0.69%. And Oof. even though they're not like realty income who pays that dividend Oof. every month and grows it every quarter, they grow it once per year at the beginning of the year. And the increase is not mm -hmm. very large, although they have done it every single year since they IPO'd. Mm -hmm. So... I see. I see, Bert. I see, Bert. <laughs> Your point but is taken. <laughs> 11 years, yield's still around 4%. I know that doesn't sound great because what is, you know, if you look at O's stock price, because everybody has got to compare it to that, they still yield over 5% despite the 20% run up in price. So mm -hmm. you aren't getting a big yield with the low dividend growth rate. That's the knock on stack. Yeah. But they pay you every single month. They are trading above that five-year average dividend yield, which is 2.5%. So you're getting a better yield now than you have historically over the last five years. Stag. Stag. So how have they performed over the over the last five years? They're up 23%. They're down 6% year-to-date, and they're up 8% over the last year. Why is that so notable? It's exactly what Lanny said at the beginning of this video. Read have popped this year because the interest rates finally came down. So a lot of those REITs that were dragging in Q1 in Q2 saw a huge pop up when the Fed announced, it seemed like the Fed was going to cut the rates and then they eventually did Had that same pop, but the price came back down after this. So something is going on behind the scenes where people are not looking forward to this earnings release that's about to come out this week. But what are you thinking right now? I know, uh, you know, I know you've got, a few REITs in your arsenal. I know you own obviously Realty Income. I know you've got AMT. Um, I know you've got Peak in the IRA. But any other mm. REITs that you own that I'm not thinking of? No, I mean, eh, nothing that's worth noting. Um, Iron Mountain, right? They're technically oh, a REIT. That's great yeah. REIT. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, but no, not so worth noting. what am I thinking? Of st the one thing that kills me is there that dividend growth is just brutal to me that yield you wish the yield was higher if the yield were five percent or more i feel like i could tolerate a dividend growth rate of one percent for a REIT mm -hmm. um that's the one thing that is just so brutal to me otherwise every other metric is great i love how safe that payout ratio is and it it reminds me lanny more of what i i wish they were more like how american tower was where american tower is not a high yielding REIT in my portfolio their yields actually what three percent maybe in the high twos but that dividend growth rate is about ten percent it's been more historically so if you're going to pick a high quality REIT like stag you want to see that better combination of yield than dividend growth and that's what's holding me back from buying this monthly dividend payer what do you think yeah i'm currently not buying i've got some other big position REITs i think you know bnl broadstone net lease and then i've got brt apartments corp i've got Got some pretty decent chunk REITs in my taxable account um, that are paying higher dividends that grow higher as well. Um, and then I do have quite a few REITs, some terrible ones in my IRA. Um, but so instead, great, great stock. You know, if this, you know, keep your eyes on them. Maybe again, really it's about the growth. You know, you know, if their share price isn't growing and their dividends not growing. It's a no for me right now, but what do you guys think of Stag? Let us know in that comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And remember, you're either with us or you're against us, Jack. Bert, the hitman, and Lanny from the DD over and out.